Hey gang, Kai here with you from XBED, and we're sitting here with brand ambassador and all-around good guy friend, Graham Zimmerman. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. And we wanted to talk a little bit about the Black Ice uh, Mountaineering Pack that's in our line. And Graham, you helped us. You helped us. Uh, design this thing, and what was it, two years ago? Something yeah, like I think it was two or three years ago you got in touch saying, hey, we want to work with you yeah. to design a pack. And it was like, oh, yeah, yeah sweet. Let's do it. And well, uh, uh, and, and so you, you did. Yeah. You helped our, 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 our pack designers, our product developers, Mark and Muriel, are in Zurich. Mm -hmm. So it was, a, it was an email, it was a Skype thing, and... You just laid it on them when they were developing. The idea was to make a pack that works for people just like you, stripped down to nothing. I mean, we say new school alpinist pack, but just just but super light, super simple, very durable. Right. You know, can handle can handle the mountains, but yeah. it yeah. has everything you need and nothing that you don't. Right. That was the goal. Yeah, that was the goal. I think it's really cool. Just before we sat down to do this, you ran out to your car. And you said, I've got something to show you guys. And yeah, we, we're going we to use the new ones. But. We're going to use the new one, which is right here on our, on our pack wall. Uh, but we're not going to show you the new one. Graham brought <laughs> in, you ran out to your car, and you brought in two black ices. I think this is uh, actually a Serac. The Serac, Serac is the, um, is the a, kind of a winterized version. It's got a full zip on slightly, the side. Slightly. You prefer black ice. You don't want the zipper on the side necessarily. Well, for skiing, I use the Serac for skiing all the time. Okay. Um, I think this. I think for skiing, this is a. I think this is a preferable and, and pack. I, I think that's what Mark really had uh -huh. in mind when he did that. Totally. And so I use did. I use this for photography as well, since it's got the big the big opening on the side. Right. But uh, for for routes and on like big peaks, it's the black ice the, is as kind of as simple as it gets. Yeah. But really, so these these pack you you mentioned before we we rolled here, you mentioned that this thing was used as a haul bag. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's pretty funny. I mean, these like the the durability of these packs is pretty pretty incredible. I mean, this is you can see there's a, a reinforced hull loop that I built into this thing, and uh, and yeah, that's cool. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Forest Woodward and I used this on a route in the Leaning Towers. It was like a fourteen hundred foot, you know, wall. Yeah, and hauled used, used this as their haul bag, and. Uh, that's cool to see. Still, I mean, still, Mark, it's, it's like not. It's actually not. It's actually in pretty good shape. It's still usable. It is. Yeah. I mean, it's got some holes in it. Yeah. I mean, it, and, and I'm looking at this one, um, but Mark talks about this fabric being, and I forget the details on the fabric. I, I, I'm terrible that way. Well, but it's I got, know he's got some specific things about this fabric that he he talks about it being super durable. The primary thing is this fabric has a little bit of stretch in it. Mm. And that increases its durability a lot. Yeah. I don't remember what veneer it is, what the type of fabric it is. Yeah. But the fact that it's that it's not totally static yeah. means that it deals with abrasion much more effectively. Yeah. And I think you know it's pretty it's pretty cool. Uh, this this one's been on. Uh, this one was on a big new route in Alaska last year. Before that, it was on uh, both Changi Tower and K6 in Pakistan. Before that, it looks like there's still some snacks in there. There are some <laughs> some granola. Oh, great! There's granola. In nice. There. Anybody hungry? Um, really? It was in Pakistan with you. Yeah, this was in Pakistan, and this is on Selena Peak, and um, wow. And then really a whole, and then like probably you know a hundred days of cragging at uh, Smith wow. Rock. That's cool. You yeah. Can, you, I mean, some of these places where typically, <clears throat> first of all, the bottom, and then that interface between the the, mm -hmm. the back pad. And the bottom, it's, you know, is still. Oh, still. I mean, this is this pack is still totally usable. Totally. Um, yeah. No, it's. Just, I mean, I would. I literally would have brought this on my last Alaska trip if you guys hadn't sent me a new one. Kill I hadn't called and said, "Dude, that well, pack. That pack is looking pretty dirty. Can we get you a new one?" But there's a, the one you just took to Alaska. <laughs> uh huh. I mean, what a month ago. Oh yeah, the small pack I took to Alaska. So these secret. come to smaller the size secret. as well. And there's, but the new, yeah, the new ones like. There's a top secret version of this. Can't tell you anything about it. Pretty fun but, stuff. Yeah, it's exciting. You just gave some feedback today. Yeah. Chick -nah -nah -nah. These guys are tinkering with it. And hey, that's that's something we should bring up. We that's something we say. You know, we're a Swiss company, and we say Andy. Let's check it out. There's there's a little Swissness right there. But Andy, the co-owner of of Exped, co-founder Andy and Heidi Brune. Andy talks about 
this idea that Swissness means tinkering to perfection. And you've experienced that. It's, it's oh, yeah. such a cool aspect of, of our brand to say things like, oh, we, we like to tinker to perfection. Mm-hmm. But it's true. It's this, and then it's this, and then little details. Well, and it's, and it's, you know, it's the fact that those guys didn't, you know, they didn't, like, come up with this design and then say, all right, and we're going to put a pocket here, and we're going to put a bunch of bells and whistles right. on it. It was like, when this, when this uh, final product came out, it was exactly what we designed together and exactly what we decided was the perfect Alpine pack, and that's what we've ended up with. That makes me so happy to it's, see, you know, someone that we have connected with our brand that doesn't sit in the office every day who is at the top of his game and then it does smell yeah, it smells it smells like this and this is, sounds terrible but it but it's it's it smells like this combination of of mountain air sweat granola <laughs> you know dirt uh-huh. and there's I, a, fr- a friend of mine I used to work with um, Bill uh, used to talk about that, you know, how your how your clothing smells after a day in the mountains mm-hmm. is, and that's what you have here. I think it's called body odor. <laughs> it's more complex than that. <laughs> it's, you know, and I get your coffee wafting across the, the the smell of the packs. Anyway, this is as real as it gets for me. This is cool. You know, we we set out to, to you know to make a pack that works for. You know, big mountain, and and you know, new school alpinism, and yeah. it's really cool to see that it that it worked. Hey, well, you got me involved with designing this thing, so thank, thank you, you, sir. sir.